My name is Isaiah Harden. I'm 13. I go to school at Lower Brewer High School. And to be a professional athlete, the core classes or the core tasks, you have to maintain physical fitness through weightlifting, running, and other activities. Practice or sport and drill, scrimmages, and expedition games. Mentally prepare for competitions. Compete in games or matches. Receive treatment for injuries or strains if necessary. You can earn up to 20000 to 90000 a year for most elite athletes earn much more. Earnings depend on the, on the athlete's skill and the popularity of the sport. Uh, oh. And thank you. <laughs> My name is Chris Einhorst. I'm 14. I go to Lower Lower Brill School, and I want to be a sports instructor. My core tasks are teach students the rules of the sport and show them how to use equipment and help help students with their rules and techniques. Teach teamwork and strategy to help individuals develop stamina, motivate athletes to help build their confidence. That's it. Thank you. Are you thinking about going? I am kid. I'm 14 and I go to school at Lower Brew High School. And the job I want to do is be a probation and parole officer. And to do that, I need a master's degree. <coughs> and I need to have leadership abilities. What's the pay? The, uh, to get paid 25000 to 85000 a year. I need, cute, I need good judgment and communication skills. I could work in an office, and I need to meet with people on a regular basis, my, in other ways, my clients. So do you need people skills in that job? Yeah, I need to be good with people. And Are you gonna think about going to college, maybe pursue that? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. My name is Ben, 14, I'm going to high school. The research I looked up is being a professional athlete. The core tasks are maintain physical fitness throughout weightlifting, running, and other activities. Practice their sport and drills, scrimmages, and exhibition games. Mentality prepare for competitions. Compete in games or matches. Receive treatment for injuries or strains if necessary. The workplace is employed by sports teams and teams are complete independent tournaments. Work indoors or outdoors and they spend a lot of time away from home. Usually only compete for a part of the year, but mostly train all year long. At risk of at risk of injuries, earnings twenty thousand to ninety thousand a year for most athlete, elite athletes earn much more. Earnings depend on the athlete's skill and the popularity of the sport. Many work other jobs for additional income, education and training, training and experience in your sport. Post secondary education is recommended. Attributes and abilities, physical fit, committed, hardworking, mature, and professional. So are they saying that? Uh, so if you're saying that you want to be a professional athlete, it's not just about skills you may have, right? Yeah. They're also saying that if you're seeking to be a professional, you're going to need some college education because of why? The scouts probably mostly go to colleges. Yeah. Okay. All right, is that what you're planning on doing? Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, my, my name is Chris Dunn, 14. I'm in the eighth grade, go to Larbrew High School. Sal LSF was a lawyer. Do that, need a Juris Doctor degree. You need to go to college for four years. Core tasks are advise clients of their legal rights and responsibilities. Represents clients in court and in legal negotiations, research, regulations, and previous case laws, draft legal documents such as wills, may specialize in criminal, corporate, and other area, or another area of the law. And where workplace for me would include a large corp corporation, government agencies, and law firms. Some are self-employed, work in offices, law libraries, and courtrooms. 
the average earnings is are from five thousand or fifty thousand dollars to two hundred twenty five thousand dollars a year. Ooh. Earnings depend on a, an experience reputation and the type of law. So if you're if you're going in if you're going into that job, do you need to keep clear of criminal charges pretty much? Yep. Yeah, so you want to keep like a good record, right? Stay away from the serious ones like DUIs and stuff. Is that is this a job that you're thinking about doing maybe at some point? Yes. So you're seriously thinking about going on to college? Yep. Is that what you want to be when you get older? Yep. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. is that something that you're actually interested in, or was this just a job that you researched? Something I was interested in. Okay, uh, so gunsmithing, there's a lot to creating and making a safe firearm, isn't there? Um, and the pay is what, 10 to $12 an hour? Yeah. Okay, did they say that you needed college or anything, or? Um, or you do have to go to like some kind of a gunsmithing school? Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Shadra St. Cloud. I'm in eighth grade. I'm 14 years old. I go to Bloomingdale High School. I want to be an animal services worker because I want the animals to live in a healthy environment. Some animals are abused or neglected by their owners. To be an animal services worker, you need a high school diploma. The tasks are to catch and care for stray animals, take animals away from abusive owners. The earnings can be $20,000 to $51,000 a year. The median is about $32,000 a year. The work can be physically demanding and emotionally draining. Animal services workers usually work 30 hours a week, which includes evening and weekend shifts. Some of the abilities include knowledge of animals, <coughs> communication skills, patience, and driver's license. The workplace is to work for government agencies that protect animals such as humane societies. Thank you. So are they suggesting that you go to college, yeah. have some kind of education? And <laughs> are you kind of like animal police? Like, can you actually, do you have the power if you do that kind of a job where you're an animal care worker? Uh, make sure that people that abuse their animals are prosecuted and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, all right. So that's something that you're interested in for real and thinking about going on to college for maybe? All right, thank you. Uh, my name is Desmond McBride. I'm 14 years old and in seventh grade and this is about making games. And here goes. Programmers write the computer code that controls gameplay. Graphic artists design characters, backgrounds, and other elements of the gamer's look. Musicians and sound designers create music and sound effects. Writers develop plots, text, and dialogue. Producers and managers oversee the work. Employers buy video game production companies or are 
self-employed and work on computers of offices and have usually they work from nine to like ten hours a day and weekends work is common earnings thirty five thousand dollars and then for highly skilled developers it's a one hundred thousand dollars with talent and employer and physician a training education requires very depending position and relevant programs include computers programming and animation no farewell requirements for play tests that's my right I'm done do you so are they suggesting that you go to like a video art school yeah like to make like games like like I don't know like black ops something like that okay so they're suggesting that that you need to go on to school to be able to do this job well or best of your ability right yeah. Is this something that you're thinking about doing sometime in the future, maybe? Maybe. If it doesn't happen, then I'll just probably do something else. Okay. Good job. Thank you. My name is CJ Lanko. I'm 13 years old and I'm in seventh grade. And my job, my job that I wanna, that I wanna do is uh, automotive service technician. And here's some of the stuff that that you do. You can get a subscription and a problem for a vehicle for the vehicle's owner, and you can use tools and compromised diagnostic equipment to locate the cause of the problem, or you can make adjustments or repairs and replace old parts. You can perform routine maintenance such as oil changes and tune-ups. If you're working for dealerships, and you can work for dealerships and repair shops, the service. The services department of government agencies, utility com companies, and and car rental firms. Most work eight to ten hours a day, forty to fifty hours a week, and they work and they may work weekend and evening shifts. And some shop some shops are really noisy and dirty places to work. Potentially potential hazards can include injuries from burns and cuts. The work can be physically and so are they, are they saying that maybe you need maybe a couple of years of college and basic auto mechanics? Mm -hmm. And then from there, once you get that two-year degree, you can become a master mechanic, which really puts you up in the money then, right? My turn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Luca Engelman. I'm 13 years old. I'm in seventh grade. The job I'm researching is race car technician. Cars meet the specific and load of their racing association. Work with the drivers to modify cars to perform as well as possible and fix any problems. Make adjustments or repairs. We earn about twenty-five thousand to a hundred thousand a year. We work inside shop for garages and outside in pit shops. Samuk, is this something that you're actually thinking about doing at some point? Yeah. Um, so, thinking about going on to some more school after high school, so you can get a better job when you're older? Yeah. Kind of thinking that way? All right, thank you. All right. My name is Jalen Grasho. I'm 14 years old. I'm in seventh grade. The job I want to be is a veterinary help animals. Jaden, is this a job that you would want to examine animals and diagnose their problems? Yes. And treat disease or injuries? Yeah. Uh, vaccinate animals to prevent illness? Yes. Provide advice about animal care to owners? Yes. May specialize in in the care of small household pets or large Keystone farm animals. Keystone Club will be starting yes. in the library in a minute. Keystone Club will be starting uh, in the library. Please meet us there. Thank you. Turn it off. Turn it off. I'm going to tell I'm mad. Turn it off. 